One of the important concepts that we'll be working with are problems dealing with probability. So first one we're going to look at is some of the basics of probability. So biggest thing to realize when you're working with probability problems is to try to keep it as simple as possible. Most people have a tendency of making probability problems too complex by using really complicated rules. So the best rule to remember for basic probability, if I want to find the probability of an event A, I look at number of ways that A can occur divided by the total possible outcomes. So all I've got to do is count up how many times this can happen or look at all the probabilities of something happen, add them all up, divided by the total possibilities. So here we have a situation where we have a mixture of students and let's say I want to find out what is the probability of selecting a 10th grader. Well, all I got to do is count how many 10th graders we have. Well, we have 22 plus 8 for a total of 30 out of 110. Now you could leave it as 30 over 110 if you like or reduce it down to 3 11 If you do choose to have a decimal answer, you should probably carry it out to three decimal places. But fractions are going to be a little more accurate. Now I want to find the probability of getting a ninth or a 12th grader. Well, I'll do is add up all the ninth graders. There's 30 there. And the 11 12th graders, I've got a total of 41. So let's just get all these questions out. I got 41 out of 110, just by adding the 30 plus 11. Now my next question is, I want to find out the probability of selecting a female or a 10th grader. Now we have to be careful not to count the same thing twice. So I'm going to count all my females. So first, let me erase my ink that I have used. All my females, well, I've got this one, this one, this one, and this one, total will be 50, and all my 10th graders. So I just need to add up all these numbers. We well, already know I've got 50, because that's what all the females add up to, plus the 22 males, who are also could be considered successes on this situation. So I've got 72 out of 110. And if we reduce it, you get 36 out of 55. Now for this next one, what is the probability of neither selecting a female nor a ninth grader? Now what I want to do is kind of eliminate things. So I don't want to count the females. I don't want to count the ninth graders. So I count what's left over. We have 22 plus 15 plus 5. So I've got 42 out of 110. Just counting the ways things happen is the easiest way to do it. Now, our problems you're going to typically see will be a bit more complicated. But sometimes they may be this simple, just going over and just counting which ones work. This is more of a typical problem you're going to come across, where you have to do a little bit of thinking and put pieces together and be able to fill out the chart just by information we're working with. So a company has three stores. They have the Uptown store, which are represented in this part right here. Midtown store, and of course the downtown store. They also have uh, different kinds of employees. We have hourly employees, and we have the managers. So managers typically will get like a salary, hourly poor, uh, uh, workers get paid by the hour. So we're told we have a total of 80 employees, 15 of the employees are managers, and the rest are hourly employees. Then we're told the Uptown store is the biggest store with a total of 38 employees, eight of which are managers. And the Midtown is the smallest one with only 10 employees, two of which are managers. We're going to use this information to complete the table and then be able to answer the questions below. So we'll start just taking them in order. Total of 80 employees. So I put 80 in under the total for everything. This is the grand total when you see it, the total for the rows and the totals of the column, they're both going to add up to 80. And that gives us a lot of clues. We're told 15 of the employees are managers. So we could put 15 in for the total for the managers. 
Then I'm told that the Uptown store is the biggest store and has 38 employees. So I know the total for the Uptown is 38. And I know eight of those are managers. Then the Midtown has 10 employees, two of which are managers. Now that's just getting the information from the table, just filling it in. Now I'm going to use these idea of working with the totals to figure out everything else. Well, the first one I'm going to figure out, because I know that the hourly plus the managers has a total of 80. So if I do 80 minus 15, I'll get 65. Then sometimes it's easier to just kind of look at going down each of these columns, or I could figure out what the downtown is. Let's go over here because this would be easy, because I know these two have to add up 38. So the number of hourly employees must be 30. And then 2 plus something equals 10, so that must be 8. So again, right here, I've got 48, and then the remainder must be all downtown. Well, 80 minus 48 gives me 32 employees in the downtown office. Well, I know my managers have to add up to 15. I've used 10 of them, of these five remaining. And then now you have a choice. I have 38 plus something to give me 65, or five plus something equals 32. So I think it's easiest to do this one. So 32 minus five would be 27. Okay, so now I've got all my information from the table. I'm ready to actually answer the questions. So once you have the table filled out, the rest of it is just picking out what works. Works in the uptown or downtown stores. Uptown, okay, there's 38. Downtown, 32. So I got 70 out of 80. You can leave it as 70, 80, or if you want to reduce it, you can make it 7 eighths. Or you can even put a decimal if you want. This is an exact value, which is 0.875. But do carry it out three decimal spots. Midtown store or a manager. So now I want to see which ones work. Well, the Midtown store, I've got 10 total employees. So there's this one and this one or a manager. Well, I get all my managers. So if I just added the 15 and the 10, it said 25 out of 80, I end up counting this one twice. So that's where you got to be careful. You got to watch out and count the same value twice. So this is going to give me, when I add them all up, I have 15 plus 8 is 23 out of 80. Now, last one says neither a manager nor works in the Uptown store. So I don't want a manager. Cross that one off. I don't want the Uptown store. Cross this guy off. And look at remains. Well, I've got 8 plus 27. That's 35 out of 80. Again, if you want to reduce it, you can. Uh, 5 goes into both of these. So it would be 7 out of 16. But it's perfectly okay to leave your answer as a fraction. You don't necessarily have to reduce it. And of course, you could also leave your answer as a decimal.